clear coat or no clear coat. Let's chat about that. Ken here with Ken's Creations, and today we're going to take a look at Dixie Bell Paint Company's Clear Coats. It comes in a beautiful gloss, our personal favorite satin, and flat. The flat clear coat is a dream come true for those that love that matte finish. Plus, you'll get an added layer of protection and durability. As I said earlier, satin clear coat is my personal favorite. Not only is it going to protect your pieces, but you'll get a nice satin sheen. It's still a clear coat. They'll give you durability and a truly unique finish. And for those that love that glossy finish, look no further than the clear coat gloss finish. Not only will you get protection and peace of mind, but it is also water resistant with a subtle shiny finish. Of course, in this video, we're gonna compare all three, but when do you use the top coat? And I always tell people it is based on the recommendation of the manufacturer and personal experience. Generally, I don't use a top coat, but I've very quickly found that working with certain surfaces and chalk paint, sometimes I need to put a clear coat for protection and durability. And other times I just like the look of a gloss or that satin. But more importantly, go off the manufacturer recommendations. For example, Dixie Bell Glaze, they recommend a top coat. So I'm gonna follow that recommendation. Prepping for this video is pretty easy. We just used Caviar Chalk Mineral Paint by Dixie Bell and the Mini Angle Synthetic Brush. If you have not seen our review on both these products, check the links down below. And using clear coats, pretty easy, but just like all of you, your first few times, you wanna make sure you read the instructions and know what you're doing. Essentially, you want your paint to dry completely. Apply a thin coat of the clear coat, and then for added protection, you can apply another coat after about one hour. You can actually add up to three thin coats onto your surface. Dixie Bell clear coat can be cleaned using a non-abrasive cleaner after seven days. I learned this the hard way, so make sure to read number four. It is important. We started by taking our wood panel, painted it with caviar, and let it dry for about an hour. We are going to be applying all three coats using the bell brush. Now, the wood panel we have divided into three parts, and we're going to start on the left with the gloss. Now, this gloss clear coat you'll see is really thin it almost looks like it has bubbles we're putting it on with that bell brush so it is leaving behind brush marks but with the magic of editing we can dry it now we can move on to the satin now satin as i said is my personal favorite we're going to apply this and you're going to instantly feel the difference it has a different consistency a different color and it's going to dry a little bit different but don't let that freak you out they should all dry clear the last one we are going to put on is the flat clear coat we'll do this over to the right now this one in my opinion went on the smoothest there was no bubbles and it almost dried instantly once again with the magic of editing we can just count down three two one and voila it's dry now you're going to notice on the left hand side because we use the bell brush and we probably moved a little too quick we're going to want to fix that so if you ever get a brush mark i would definitely recommend either a to reapply it or b use the synthetic brushes because you will not get those brush marks have to love the magic of editing now we're going to remove that purple delicate tape so you can see all three with the panel the original and then of course with all three glazes so let's take a closer look you're going to instantly see the difference between the gloss the satin and the flat 
love that satin. Just wanted to tell you again. But let's take a closer look first. I'm going to remove anything off the screen so you can really see it. Now, I did have to turn the contrast up a little bit to see it, but you can really see flat satin gloss, and that satin just gives it a little oomph. So let me know in the comments which is your favorite. Now, we have done a ton of first looks and review on Dixie Bell products. So check out our chalk mineral paint review. It is our go-to. We love the synthetic brushes and specialty brushes, but also take a look at our moonshine metallics review, our Dixie Bell glaze first look review and how to use them. Plus take a look at our voodoo gel stain. This stuff is absolutely amazing. When you use the links down below, it helps support us. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you get alerts on our next videos.